Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to discuss two topics related to an algebraic expression. Number one is types of terms of an algebraic expression and number two is types of an algebraic expression. And uh, but uh, before we begin, before we begin, I want to request to those who are new to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet and share my videos. And uh, if you like the video, then please don't forget to give a thumbs up, which would be very much appreciable. So let's move ahead. But 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 before that, what to say, children? Join with me concept clear there is no fear okay let's get started my dear children in my last video we had already discussed about the definition of the terms of an algebraic expression so before knowing the types of terms we need to understand the concept of power yes power for example uh, if you take two terms like uh, 2x square y and 5y square x look at this in this first term variables are x and y now what is the power of x yes power of x is 2 in the first term power of x is 2 and the power of y is what is the power of y power of y is 1 right and in case of a second term you see 5y square x power of x is equal to what yes power of x is equal to 1 here power of x is equal to 1 and uh, power of y is equal to what 5y square x power of y is equal to 2 isn't it so in both the cases the variables are x and y but the power of each of the variables are different all right let's move on to the types of terms So there are two types of terms, yes, two types of terms, like terms and unlike terms, uh, like terms and unlike terms. Two terms, two or more terms, two or more terms are said to be like when they have the same variables. When two or more terms contain same variables with the same power of each of these variables, uh, or you may say they have the same algebraic factors then they are said like terms and in case of unlike terms just opposite to it that is two terms are unlike when they have different variables with same power or different variables with different power or same variables with the different power in uh, all these cases they are said to be unlike or uh, we must say if they have different algebraic factors okay so remember children to know the types of terms of an algebraic expression we need to focus on the variable parts only not constants okay all right let's move on to the next topic So let's explain by taking some examples. Have a look. In number 1, 7xy, 5xy, both the terms have same uh, variables that is x and y and power of first term and second terms are same one. Uh, so these are like terms. Okay. And in case of second example, 9xy square, 9x square y, you see power of x of first term is here. 1 and in case of second term power of x is 2 so they have different powers so they are unlike terms and as in case of x we uh, are getting different powers so no need to check the power of y as we already got it as unlike okay number three different variables so unlike and number four also uh, different variables so obviously unlike unlike terms and uh, you see x y x y z the different variables so unlike terms and number five 
in both the cases uh, variables are same x and y and power of each of these variables are 2 you see there are two so, so they are like terms and in case of number 6 minus 900 they are like terms because all the constant terms are like terms as they do not contain any variables so these are all about like and unlike terms and let's move on to the next topic Uh, let's understand the concept of polynomials yes this is very much important poly means your um, poly means many and nomial means parts or terms in case of algebraic expression poly means many and nomial means parts and there are different types of polynomials that means some polynomials um, have been given special names and uh, I have written here the this uh, names of these polynomials. Um, these are like monomial, binomial, trinomial, quadrinomial, polynomial, and uh, all these monomial, binomial, trinomial, quadrinomial, all are under polynomial. And uh, that is um, in in exp I have uh, expression one is uh, here number one is monomial. An expression with one term is called a monomial. For example, three x 5 at t square etc these are all monomial because they contain only single term and uh, this expression of two terms are called binomial for example uh, 4 plus x yes two terms containing two terms 4 and x 4 plus x another one is your 3 mn minus 2 another one is m square n square plus 5 these are binomial containing two terms in case of trinomial they contain three terms so uh, for example your example of trinomial is suppose x plus uh, x plus y plus z containing t ter uh, three terms x plus y plus z and uh, your another example I am writing 2 plus x square plus your 4 x y and another one is 3 x square plus y square plus 4 z square etc. These are trinomial. Next one is quadrinomial with four terms. So for example your 4 plus 4 plus x plus m plus x y and another one I am writing 3 plus x square plus a b plus l etc and next one is our all this come under polynomial and uh, including the expression with higher powers uh, these are called polynomial here I have uh, written examples of polynomials for example x plus y plus z up to n this is called polynomial or x plus y is also a polynomial and another one I am writing x plus y plus z plus k these are also polynomial ok now I am going to clear one big doubt regarding polynomial I have seen many students many students have a misconception about polynomials they think that monomial binomial trinomial these are not polynomials only with higher power is a polynomial uh, expressions containing more than three or four terms but uh, not this is not like that exactly this is totally false totally false children actually starting from monomial binomial or trinomial all these nomials all these nomials they come uh, under polynomial an algebraic expression containing um, one or more terms is called polynomial yes this is the definition of polynomial the general name for an algebraic expression containing one or more terms is polynomial okay so that's all for today and see you in my next video till then Take care, stay home, stay safe. Bye-bye.